Coach, congrats on the win. How did you see that game? Uh, exciting. I mean, at both ends, unfortunately. But I thought for the most part, uh, you know, we per did a pretty good job. Uh, third period, obviously, the turnovers. But we'll, we'll talk about that. I think the guys were just excited, you know. And, and you know, I, I thought they played a great hockey game. They're, you know, they, they do a lot of different things than anybody else in the league, the way they go around the zone and, and everybody's moving. They got a lot of moving parts. But, but I thought for the most part, we were pretty good. Um, you know, and, and obviously the big line there with Ryder and Harry and Maggi, they were looking for Ryder in the third. It was obvious. They had some scoring opportunities. But, I mean, it's glad, and that's why I put him out there late. I wanted him to get that first one and get uh, continue to roll. So uh, exciting times. The fans were excellent tonight, and uh, we're really looking forward to moving on here. Is, did this game feel different than some of the other games this year? It did. It, it did in the fact that, you know, the, the, the fans were really involved. They were loud. Uh, there was a real excitement in the building. You can feel it. And I think that's that's what equals to the turnovers. Guys want to try and do a little more. And, and we always talk about doing your job. But tonight, uh, let them off the hook a little bit here. But uh, we'll get back to business here moving on. Did you say anything when they were trying to force the puck to Shane in the third period? To the guys? Yeah. No, I mean, you know, the message before the game was try not to be so cute. And, and just because uh, you tend to do that. It's just a natural habit. So, no, I wasn't upset with it. You know, I, I wanted him to get one, too. I think everybody in the building did, and, and he does get rewarded with the empty net or so. Um, but the, it's good that he got it in his first game, and, and he'll just keep moving forward. What would you think about your top line? I love them. Um, you know, the speed they play at, the skill set, and, and the passing is, is exceptional, and they all have great brains. So, uh, right now, you know, we'll keep them together, keep rolling, but it does give us options to move guys around, too, you know, and and make us deeper uh, you know Abraham's still a couple weeks out and that's going to be a nice addition but again overall uh, really excited for the three of them. They seem to have already had a little bit of chemistry already. Well when you're when you're that skilled and, and they all can think the game well I mean that's what it's going to equal to and you know they remind me of Johnny Cooley and Maj when they were together so and then they they uh, had quite a run together obviously and um, we're hoping that they find the same chemistry and like you said it was there tonight for sure. Yeah even though they were great and dominant at times in this game, you still got depth scoring. Is that going to be the key to success for you guys? Well, and, and that's why we did this. I mean, uh, we, we go right down the roster and the and three kids. I mean, what can you say? Green Tree, Spelsey, Christophoro. They, they were excellent again tonight. Uh, James Jodwin, if, if he can play that way, I mean, he's such a big piece for us if he can, if he can do what he did tonight. And obviously, Noah Morneau, Mor Noah Morneau continues to be excellent for us. He's such a safety valve out there. And uh, I can go on and on all night here. But again, the depth and, and, and the defense core and Joey was fantastic. Gave us an opportunity to win, especially early. And, and the one that, I, that sticks out to me is, 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 is Dionisio. I mean, the, the patience back there. It's almost a little too patient at times for, for everybody. But he knows what he's doing and we trust in him. And uh, just a fantastic effort for him again. I'm glad you mentioned Joey. I was going to ask about him. Uh, I think his play early in the first really helped you guys, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It let us settle in again. Uh, you know, with with all these new parts too, you're, you're, you, sometimes it's a tendency just to sit back and wonder where you fit in in the lineup. So that's something we're working on. You know, the we putting the we ahead of the me. That's something we talk about every day. And uh, you know, Joey was excellent. Held us in there, gave us a chance to regroup and, and get going. And then obviously getting that lead in the first period was huge for us. Did you get a chance to review Colton Smith's slew footing penalty? Yeah, we did. And and there's no good angle of it because the the cameras are on the far side of the ice. So. Uh, I think it's just referee's discretion there. It, it looks like a, a shoulder check. We can't see from our angle if there's any leg work there. But again, that's the referee's discretion, I think, in, in that situation. It's an automatic two games? Is that? I, I believe so, unless the, unless there's unless the video is inconclusive and it's only on the refs, maybe, maybe one game. But uh, I think automatic two games, usually if it's called for a slew foot. Before the deadline, one of the concerns was make sure whoever came in uh, it looks great and obviously you can see tonight Holmesy I thought he was solid he got an A already on his jersey it just you can see the leadership oozing out of him and, and and from what I'm hearing from the guys he's a great human so he got an A already and yeah I, I don't see the culture we've built here um, has been excellent and I think uh, guys coming in just fit in and, and uh, our guys have really welcomed him. Are you adding any other letters to anyone else? Well, I mean, I, I think there's going to be some moving letters for a while, especially with Abraham out. We have that luxury with the 1A to move it around. So I think a lot of guys will get it, uh, you know, but we're still confident with our leadership group. Uh, but adding to it uh, is something we're always looking to do. Uh, job one of the week is done. You still got two more jobs this week. What's the focus and preparation for Saginaw and London? 
Well, again, we'll, we'll work on our defensive zone coverage a little bit. Um, obviously, the message will be, you know, to, to I don't mind guys making plays, but we got to get back. We got to track. And I thought we did most part a good job of that. Um, but just short practice, two huge contests, obviously. Uh, Joey's going to go again here, and he's a little under the weather here. That's why he wasn't on the bench again tonight. But uh, we're really looking forward to these two matchups. Are you considering a move this year? If so, the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team is here to help. Find out why so many homeowners across Windsor and Essex County have put their trust in our team. Learn more at danjemis.com. Shane, congrats on uh, the Spitfires debut. You got the victory. Um, that's got to feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels great. Obviously, uh, always nice to uh, you know, win a game here. Obviously, my first game as well is uh, you know, even a little sweeter and um, nice to help you know, contribute to the success. And um, I think overall, a you know, good team game and um, nice to pull out the win here tonight. How did it feel for you out there? Yeah, it felt good. Obviously, uh, um, it was nice you know, finally getting back on the ice there. And uh, obviously, it's been a while since I uh, you know, had an OHL game. So, uh, trying to yeah, you know, kind of get my legs back a little bit there. But, uh, you know, it felt good. felt like uh, you know, I had a pretty decent game and you know, created some chance out there as well. What kind of emotions were you going through, if any? Yeah, I think just a little, I was just excited for this game. Uh, and obviously, it's a new opportunity here, a new city, and uh, new teammates as well, new coaching staff. So uh, just excited about this opportunity, excited to be here, and um, you know, really looking forward to the game tonight, and um, I'm pretty happy with how it went. And what did you think, how your line did with Harrison and uh, Maggio tonight? Yeah, I think we played well. I think, uh, you know, we created a lot of offensive chances. I think, uh, you know, that's what uh, you know, our coach is going to want us to do, uh, you know, play offense and, uh, create ozone chances and really, uh, um, you know, drive the offense for this team. And, you know, I think we did a good job tonight, had a lot of chances, and uh, we, uh, you know, at cash and a couple goals here as well. Nice to get a goal and assist here in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, always nice to, uh, you know, score a goal, get a couple points there. And, um, you know, anytime you can, uh, you know, help the success of the team and, you know, we'll get on the score sheet is always, uh, you know, a good feeling. What did you think of the fan experience? You got a few uh, rousing ovations there in the game. Yeah, fans were great tonight. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty packed crowd out there. It was really loud and, um, you know, cheering us on really loud there tonight. And, um, you know, for a Thursday night, it was a, it was a really good crowd and I uh, really appreciate all the, all the fans coming out. A really busy few weeks for you. I mean, had a chance to kind of step back and just soak it all in? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Obviously, it's been, uh, it's been a whirlwind couple of weeks here, especially. And, um, you know, trying to figure out everything when, you know, after, you know, after World Juniors, I got back home. Uh, trying to figure out, you know, where, uh, you know, where I wanted to go in the OHL, and um, I think, uh, you know, try to take, you know, a, a couple of days or just kind of uh, reset, really kind of soak everything in, soak every, um, you know, second of it in, uh, every, you know, everything I've kind of uh, achieved so far this year, and uh, really just trying to, um, you know, soak all of it in here. Congratulations on the victory. What did you think of the team's performance? Yeah, I thought uh, I thought all through the lineup we had a uh, pretty strong game, although we let up in the third period a little bit there, so have to clean that up a little bit. But uh, I thought overall it was a good first game for uh, for post trade deadline. Yeah, does there a bit of an air that lifts out of the room now that the deadline has passed? Yeah, uh, so we know this is our team now, and uh, yeah, we got to start uh, building some chemistry and. Uh, Guys getting comfortable in the room, but I think it's going to happen quickly here. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for it. How is the chemistry with your new line mate, Shane Wright? Yeah, he's, uh, he's an easy player to play with. He's a uh, super smart player, tremendous, great with the puck. So uh, I think it's uh, only going to get better moving forward here. What do you think the future looks for that line with you and Wright and Matt Maggio? Yeah, I think uh, we're going to try to drive the offense on this team and uh, try to get uh, good ozone shifts, but also... Uh, be, uh, be good in the D zone as well and try not to get uh, scored on. So uh, I think we're going to try to uh, be, be good on both sides of the puck. You yourself, you drove the offense tonight, two goals and an assist. Let's talk about the first goal. Um, how did you see it? Yeah, it was a uh, great play by Maj to get, uh, get the puck over to Roddy. And then uh, I just kind of streaked in their back door and he uh, and Roddy made a great pass to me back door. It was, uh, it was a great play by them too. And then the second goal, you decided to put on the highlight reel and go through the legs. Uh, tell us about that and why you did that way. Yeah, uh, it was a great play by Morneau. He uh, kind of cut back and, uh, and found me, uh, slipped it through on the dot there. And uh, yeah, I just got the puck in there in tight and uh, wanted to go back to my forehand. So I just uh, slipped it through the legs. And uh, yeah, I was uh, fortunate to go in there. How many times have you practiced that? 
Um, just goofing around in the, before the game or uh, in practice, I just do it. But uh, in game, I did it once last year and didn't score, so it looked kind of goofy. So well, I'm fortunate to go in this time. But you went back to the well and you did it because you've got to make a split second decision to do that, right? Like what yeah. goes through your mind at that time or do you not think? Like yeah, that? I honestly, I just saw the puck was in front there and uh, saw the goalie was sliding over with me. So uh, I just wanted to bring it back and just kind of went through my legs, didn't really think about it. Are you getting settled here in Windsor? Yeah, um, everyone's been great to me. It's really making the transition smoothie with my billets and coaching staff and all the players here. So I'm really fortunate to be here. You're still in the crowds and How about the energy you guys get? How about the crowds like that? Yeah, awesome. The fans were great tonight, really loud. We could hear them uh, on the bench as well. And uh, yeah, we really uh, appreciate the support. What do you guys work on for preparation for two other big games this weekend? Yeah, we have uh, another practice tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll clean up uh, some stuff in the D zone. and. Uh, yeah, I think these are uh, two uh, really important games this weekend and uh, hopefully get the sweep here. Thanks, bro. Awesome.